Hello, this is Geert Jan, Product Manager on the Oracle Jet team. I want to share a small scenario where a few quick tweaks can make a big difference in an Oracle Jet application. The situation is this. This, what you see here, is the standard display of an Oracle Jet application. A colleague of mine, working with a customer, wanted the menu that you see along the top here this horizontal menu to instead of that be displayed on the left hand side and so with a few quick tweaks you can do that now you can see here we have the menu bar on the left hand side vertically and as we click a different item in the menu a different page is displayed exactly as is the case over here and also when we change the resolution to the mobile size you will see the hamburger menu appear as you make it smaller um, exactly as it does in the default uh, template so what I want to talk about is the few quick tweaks that you need to do to change the menu bar from this display to this display and my colleague needed this because he was working with a customer where they were working on an application that needed to have this view on the menu rather than the view that you see here the horizontal display the first thing to know is that the menu is defined inside of the index file what i want to do is not only show you how to change the menu bar from that horizontal display to the vertical along the left hand side but also how to figure out how to do that now we're in the index page where the menu bar is defined and along down here you will see um, that there is this section here called navigation. And so we are in here and without understanding anything at all, without having any background to any of this, we can already see that there is here this, this attribute edge, which is set to top. Now that's of course very interesting because we can start tweaking this. Now the, the next part is to look at the name of the component, which is OJ Navigation List. So let's go into the cookbook, find Navigation List, find the related JavaScript documentation, and see what other values there are for the Edge attribute. Here I am on the Oracle Jet homepage. I click on Use Cookbook, and here I can see all of the components. And I'm just going to do a quick search here for Navigation. And you can see here we have Navigation List. We have here horizontal and vertical, which is already quite interesting. So let's take a look inside of the vertical here. Um, and let's take a look at the navigation list. You can see here, OJ navigation list. I probably want to have a bit more detail, especially I'm interested in that edge attribute. So I'm gonna to go to the JS doc here. And here is edge as an attribute. And there are two supported values, start and top. So let's see what happens if we change top to start. We're back in the page that we are working on here. I go in here, I change top to start. Save this, I have live reload working. And now we already see something that looks better than we had before in terms of our requirements. Still not what we want, of course, but now we have this vertical display rather than the horizontal. Of course, this looks a bit strange. So we're going to go back into the editor and tweak a bit further. And the first part is that you can see this um, OJ navigation list here. And what you also see is the OJ module. Now this is where those different modules are displayed in the page as defined by the module configuration. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this OJ navigation list and remove it from there and put it here and let's see what that does i save this okay that already looks better um, this is a display along the top here and it works not exactly what we want we want this to be displayed next to that we go into the page and let's use oj flex as a starting point for figuring out a nice way to display these two items next to each other rather than the one above the other. So here I have a flex container. Now what I'm going to do inside the flex container is provide two flex items. 
Let's do that. And then within those items, I'm going to copy my content. So here, first of all, is the navigation list. And secondly, I have the OJ module being loaded within the second flex item. Now I'm going to take a look at the result. Here is the result. It's not quite what we want, although we can see that we already have the navigation list on the left-hand side and the content area on the right-hand side, exactly as wanted. However, we have the footer displayed um, not exactly where we need it to be, of course. When we go back and we take a look in this section here, and you can see that there's various OJ CSS classes being referenced. And you can see here OJ Web Layout, Max Width. So this is about the width, which is not what we're concerned about. We are concerned about the height. We don't see specifically anything about the height. So let's just take this one here as an experiment. Um, we can look at the documentation, but let's just start by just tweaking a bit. We put this up here and we'll make this the Azure Web Layout uh, content item. And we go back into the page and there it is working. So it's simply by some very small experimentation. Um, in my case, working with my colleague, I did this ad hoc as we were talking. You can tweak your um, display, your view, the, the layout of your Oracle Jet application very easily by simply looking at the template and looking at the related um, JavaScript documentation. In this case, we are working with Edge here and tweaking the code to match your requirements. It's not very difficult and it's fun. And that's really one aspect of Oracle Jet that makes it an interesting and fun toolkit to work with.